Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews. So today, I will be taking a look at the Transformers robots in disguise 2015 Warrior Class Power Surge Optimus Prime. This is the retail version of the Power Surge Optimus Prime. Okay, so let's get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for this figure. So let's get it on, man. Let's go. And here is Power Search Optimus Prime fully transformed into his truck mode. And um, it looks pretty good, you know. Um, this is an extensive remold of the original Warrior Class uh, Optimus Prime. I do have my little nitpicks with this figure, but hey. <laughs> The only major, major complaint I have with this figure is that the lack of paint, you know, and the truck mode. You see, you have nice molding detail all around in this section right here, but it's just all plain red. And I don't quite like that, it's just like, uh, yeah, but it's the truck mode, I don't even care about the truck mode. <laughs> I don't even care about the robot mode, so yeah. And you can see here, you can see the feet, uh, we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit, but anyway. So, <laughs> got nice super paint. On the front grill right there, nice black paint for the windshield, and you do have, um, this is actually my doing, uh, because I saw that the headlights were just like unpainted, I was like, that doesn't look good, so I took, uh, like liquid paper and just, just put some white liquid paper on the headlights to make it look good, so, hey, <laughs> I, I, I only did that just to make it, you know, more, you know, it's spruced up, so yeah. But um, other than that, it's just like uh, eh, completely bare. I mean, I mean, with these figures, they're they're always bare. They're always. <laughs> you can see the the bottom right here. You can see a lot of gaps right here. Yeah, who cares about the gaps anyway? Um, and you do have the uh, the the swords or the wings right here stored on the top. So there we go. Pretty cool. And you do have the, the the scanning badge right here with the Autobot symbol. So if you do have the app, you still have the game. You still play it. Go ahead. Go ahead and scan it. Yay! Go ahead and free scan on my screen. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, do it, do it, do it. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah. Now you can, as you can see, unlike the original Warrior Class Optimus Prime, this guy has like six wheels, um, as opposed to uh, one, two, three, four on the on this side right here, which kind of makes for ten wheels. So he doesn't have ten wheels anymore. They actually remolded this thing like a lot to uh, have like different number of wheels so out right, of the bat let's get down to some size comparisons here is Power Surge Optimus Prime compared with Warrior Class Grimlock with the Warrior Class Blast Wave with the Warrior Class Storm Shot with the little Legion Class Autobot Minicon Fix It with the Warrior Class Megatronus and last but not least, with the original Warrior Class Optimus Prime. Now, a part of me likes this truck mode a lot better because they actually painted the smokestacks. You know, they painted the front grill properly. <laughs> and, you know, there's more paint. So, like, the, the, this whole section is, like, red paint. It's, it's more than, than this thing. It's more, you know, blue and red. So, yeah. Um, part of me still likes this truck mode way, way better because there's a lot more paint. Um... But yeah, you can see like a lot of remolding done to this figure. I mean, you can see the front cabs are pretty much the different mold. I will say, yeah, you can see, you can see the uh, the line right here. It's it's like a different transformation right there, which is pretty cool. And you can see here, no wheels right here, and got wheels right here. You can see like like gas tanks or something molded into place, <laughs> but not painted, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, a lot of remolding, a lot of remolding. You can, uh, and when we get into robot mode, you will be able to see, you know, some more differences between the two. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, all right. So that is pretty much it for the alt mode comparisons. Now, he does come with an accessory of his own. He comes with his mighty axe, um, which is not even painted at all it's just cast in black plastic it just looks boring it just looks <laughs> it did, did, yeah it just looks eh, eh, eh. That's just a little bit of a comparison here with the original axe you can see here I like this axe way better because there's actually paint on the blade this one does not have paint it's just like literally just black all around <laughs> and that's pretty much it for the axe you know here so 
Yeah, there you have that. And uh, so now to store this axe in truck mode, it's not the same way to store the uh, you know the uh, axe. You know, it's not the same way on how you store this in the original uh, as opposed to the original uh, Warrior Clan Optimus Prime. As you can see here, you don't you, you don't see the slots anymore. You don't see the, the little two tabs anymore. They actually remolded that piece right here. And uh, you can see the two tabs right here. They're, they're supposed to go in right here. Now, you're originally you're supposed to like, you know, there's no room to, to fit the handle inside this area. There, there's no room. The only way to store this is like just put this in right here just like that. And there we go. There we have the storage. Or I think I'm doing something wrong. Hold on. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. There we go. There we go. That's the way to store the axe, you know, in truck mode with the handle just sticking out, and that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, which is kinda, kinda weird, you know, that it doesn't have that connection right there anymore, but hey, it is what it is. So, I'm gonna take off the axe right now, and I think we are pretty much done. With the truck mode itself, it's, um, yeah, it's lacking, you know, it's very lacking. But anyway, so, let's get down to the robot mode transformation. So, now, the first thing I want to do is, actually, you can actually leave this, you know, plug in. So, I'll, I'll just leave it just because, um, but the only thing I want to take out is this section right here. So, yeah, of course, you have to do some parts forming, which... Kinda bugs you a little bit, but it doesn't really bug me all that much. So you wanna take this panel right here, just bring this down and just close that up, and there we go. Now just bring this panel down and just fill in the leg just like so. Split the legs, there we go, and then just rotate the waist 180 just like so. And there you have the lower body pretty much all done, so now you're gonna split the cab right here, just split it, oh, there we go, just bring down his arms, bring down his arms, flip out his head right now, and you want to unpeg this, and just rotate the arms down, and just rotate the shoulder pads down, just like so, and just bring this down, and just rotate the shoulder pad down, like that, and that is pretty much it for the transformation, very very easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, there you have Power Surge Optimus Prime fully transformed into his robot mode. I do quite like the design of the robot mode. Yes, it definitely could have been better with a, with a lot more paints, but hey, I do quite like the design. I do quite like the, you know, the, the remolding, you know, that they did to this figure, which is pretty cool. I do quite like it, so, yeah. Now let's get closer, so we can take a look. Add to that head sculpt. It's a very primey head sculpt. I do quite like it. Nice silver paint on the head crest. Nice silver paint on the mouth plate. And nice blue for the eyes. It's pretty cool. You can see a lot of white, red, and light blue paint on the chest. It's really nice. Actually, no. This this whole chest piece is actually done up in a uh, light blue plastic. But they actually painted the white and the red. You know, the red here is red paint. So that's pretty cool. I do quite like that. Yeah, really nice. And you got nice uh, light blue uh, stripes right here on the forearms. It's pretty cool. Um, nice light blue paint on here on the shins. It's pretty cool. Nice white paint right here as well. And um, I do have a little paint issue on mine. Um, you can see here on the on the right leg, they painted it silver, but on the left foot, it's not painted. What happened there? What what happened there? Where's the silver paint on the side? What what happened there? I I I I, I anyway. But <laughs> it's just kinda awkward. It's just kinda awkward. Anyway, so uh but yeah. Now articulation wise on this figure is pretty much the same as the original. The the head is on the swivel. So you can actually move his head like side to side. Uh the shoulders, they can do a full 360, you can move in. They can move in and out on this joint right here. There is a ball joint at the elbow. You can actually you know, bend up the elbow, you know, about mm, 90 degrees of bend, I think. And uh, 
Yeah, that's pretty much it for the articulation. Oh yeah, rotation as well at the arm, at the I mean at the elbow. Uh, he does have a waist swivel, which is really nice. Uh, the legs are on the ball, jo uh, no, not on the ball joint. Uh, the legs are on the swivel right here. The legs can move up that far, can move back only that far. If you remove the blade, then they can actually uh, can actually move back all the way like that. And he can do the full splits. He does have a thigh swivel. He does have a knee joint about 90 degrees of band and that is pretty much it for the articulation there's nothing much to write home about with the articulation <laughs> it's very simple it's very basic but yeah let me just put this back on oh oh yeah um one thing you can actually do with these uh weapons right here with the wings uh, you can actually give him you know just plug it into his hands you know and just you know give him like swords you know that's pretty cool but me personally I prefer to plug them to the back, you know, uh, and give him the wings, like so, just like his uh, Beast Hunter's counterpart. So yeah, just give him the wings, just like that. Give him the wings, just like that. And there we go, that's pretty cool. I do quite like those wings, it's pretty cool, like a presence. I can sense the presence of Power Search Optimus Prime right here. And, uh, and you can actually take this and just plug this onto the top. and. And now, he is all nice and powered up, and that's pretty cool, I do quite like that. And uh, you can actually give him his axe as well, there you go, just give him his axe. And yeah, the one thing I like about this figure is that, you know, the hands are actually, you know, you know free, so yeah, you can actually, you know, move the, the axe down, you know, you can actually hold it properly, which is pretty cool. Um, but, it's kind of loose in his hand, I don't know why it's loose in his hand, but, um, let's put it in his hand, there we go in this hand it's still loose it's still loose i don't know why it's loose but it is what it is but yeah there we go he's all nice and powered up like i do quite like that um i kind of wish there was more paint on these uh shoulder cannons but uh, it is what it is but yeah anyway so let us get down to some size comparisons here is Power Surge, Optimus Prime, compared with the Mighty Lord Megatronus, and yeah, he's still shorter than Prime, and I still don't like that. I still, still don't like that. Just, no. Just, no. That doesn't work for me. <laughs> because, because, you know, these Primes, I just want them to be, like, eye level, but this guy's still shorter than him, and I, grr, I don't like that. But anyway, so, <laughs> let's move on to the next size comparison. Here is Power Surge Optimus Prime compared with the Warrior Class Grimlock, with the Warrior Class Storm Shots, with the Warrior Class Autobot Blast Wave, with the Little Legion Class Minicon Fix It, and last but not least, with the original Warrior Class Optimus Prime. And as you can see, the, similar the similarities, the, uh, the the differences. You can see these panels are totally remolded. Uh, these forearm little, this, these little you know, front cap pieces, they're remolded. Uh, the chest is totally remolded, and you know the the back as well is totally remolded, which is pretty cool. Uh, the shoulders are remolded, and that's pretty much it, you know, on what they remolded. You know, other than that, everything else is the same, and uh, yeah. But, but yeah, I do quite like, you know, the heavy remolding on this figure, which is really, really nice. You know, when they do the heavy remolds, I think they do a great job. And I think with this figure, they do a really, really good job with it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So uh, now, as far as which Prime I like better, um, I'm not entirely sure because I actually like both of these Primes. <laughs> now there is the Toys R Us exclusive version of this guy, but I could only find the retail release, so I bought the re retail release. So yeah, so but yeah, but um, yeah, the the, the Toys R Us version was just all white, you know, <laughs> all white and blue and everything. But yeah, and I actually prefer this color scheme like a lot better. But but yeah, but anyway, but yeah, yeah, I like these both. I like the both of these primes, and uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool figures, and they're fun to mess with. So yeah nice very very nice so all right so uh that is pretty much it for the robot mode oh, 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 oh. We, before we finish before we finish <laughs> i would like to ask you guys which warrior class prime do you like better this or this let me know in the comment section down below so yeah all right now we are pretty much done with the robot mode comparisons 
Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015 Warrior Class Power Surge Optimus Prime. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool figure in my opinion. Uh, the robot mode looks good. Um, definitely needed a lot more paint here and there. Um, the truck mode looks eh, decent enough. It's just yeah, lack of paint kind of bugs me a little bit. <laughs> So yeah, he definitely needs a lot more paint in truck mode, but still it looks decent enough. Um, the problem with the, the sewer paint on the feet just kind of bugs me. <laughs> just only painted on one side, or what happened to the other side, but anyway, <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. Um, articulation is pretty decent, um, but yeah, he can definitely pose, you know, you can pose him really, really nicely, which is cool. Um, Transformation is nice and smooth. I do quite like the transformation. It's definitely pretty easy. So yeah, overall it's an enjoyable figure to mess with. Um, the lack of paint on the axe just kind of bugs me a little bit as well because it's all the plain black and everything is just kind of bare um, but I do quite like the design of the robot mode you know I love the the remote parts that, that's pretty cool I do quite like that so yeah so yeah I really like this figure I really really dig this figure so yeah okay so uh, if I were to rank this guy from a scale of 1 to 10 I think I would just give him a good uh, 8 out of 10 you know 8 out of 10 yeah you know he definitely needed a lot more paint here and there but still a really nice figure to have in your collection so yeah okay so uh, I think that is pretty much it for today's video review so ladies and gentlemen if you're completely new to the channel go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and while you're at it click that notification bell icon down below as well so that you know when my new videos are up and ready and you can always check out my transformers robots in disguise 2015 reviews playlist for any videos you may have missed so i'll post a link to that playlist in the description down below and I, and you and blah 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 and my tongue has stopped has blah 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 oh uh, my gosh my tongue has malfunctioned anyway anyway what I was trying to say is if you have enjoyed this video review go ahead and do me a favor and slam dunk a like on it I will appreciate that very very much and uh, yeah so I think that's pretty much it for me to say so they have the Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015 Warrior Class Power Surge Optimus Prime and this is JJ Prime signing off peace out <laughs>